Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on estimating the mean from a grouped frequency table. So this is our grouped frequency table here and we're going to be estimating the mean for this data. Now this question is about 40 friends and how long it takes them to get to work. Now we should know that when we calculate the mean what we actually find is we find the total and we divide by how many there are. That's often how you're taught it. In this question, that's going to mean finding the total time taken for all of these people to get to work and then dividing by how many people there are. Now, the reason this says estimate and not calculate the mean is because they haven't actually told me how long it took all of those people to get to work. They've given me a range. So these three people here, it took them between zero and ten minutes to get to work. Now, it could have took all those three people 10 minutes. It could have took them all two minutes. We just don't know. We're kind of guessing. We just know that it's somewhere in that range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the midpoints. So I'm going to assume that these three people each took five minutes to get to work. That's how we have a sensible estimate. Sometimes they can ask you in an exam, why is this an estimate? Why are we not calculating the mean? And it's for this reason. It's because we don't have the exact data. We are estimating by using midpoints. So some questions, they will give you a table with some extra columns drawn in. If like this question, they don't give you those extra columns, I would start by drawing two extra columns on. So these are my extra columns. The first one I'm going to use to write down my midpoints. So I'm just going to write midpoints. This is where I'm making my sensible guess for how long it took these people to get to work. So my first one is between 0 and 10. So the midpoint there is 5. The next one is 10 and 20. That's a midpoint of 15. 20 and 30. It's going to be 25. 30 to 40 is 35 and 40 to 50 is 45. Just be careful here, it's not always this nice sort of pattern, 5, 15, 25, 35, 45. Sometimes the last one might be 40 to 100 or something, so just be careful you're double checking. Also, if you're struggling to find the midpoint, this one was quite easy, but if there were more complicated numbers, an easy way to find the midpoint is to add the two numbers together and then divide by two. So now I've got my midpoints, I need to find what I think the total time taken for all these people to get to work is. So I have three people here that I am guessing took five minutes to get to work. So these three people in total took 15 minutes to get to work. This next one I have eight people who I am guessing took 15 minutes each to get to work. So their total is 120. So all I'm actually doing here is I am multiplying my frequency with my midpoints in order to find my grand total. So I'm just going to write in that I'm actually multiplying these together. I don't have to give this column a heading actually, but I'm going to write M for midpoint multiplied by f for frequency. So I'm going to multiply all these together. So the three people that took five minutes each, that's 15 minutes. Eight people that took 15 minutes each is 120. 11 people took 25 minutes each, that's 275. Nine people took 35 minutes each, that's 315. And nine people took 45 minutes each, that's 405. These are very, very often calculated questions. So now I've got my midpoint times my frequency. In order to find the grand total, um, I need to add these up. So I'm going to write down at the bottom here, the total for all of the 40 people. And I'm going to type this in my calculator. It is 1,130. So these 40 people all together took 1,130 minutes to get to work. Now I need to divide by how many there are to get my final answer. 
And the most common mistake I see here is that people divide by five because there are five categories. But that's not how many there are, how many people there are. They'll often give you it in the question. So here they've given me it, it's 40. Or I can find it by adding my frequency column up. So I'm just going to write under there as a reminder. I can add these up to get it. It's 40. Now, I'm just going to do this little part in red. I'm going to deliberately make a mistake here. Let's say I accidentally used 5. So I'm going to do a 1130 divided by 5. And that's the most common mistake I see. If I do that, I get 226. Now, if that's my mean, just look here at the information they've given me. I've got people travelling to work. and It's taking them between 0 is my smallest and 50 is my biggest. So there's no way the mean can be 226. Okay, it definitely can't be right. So that's a nice way of checking that we're doing it right. That's definitely wrong. So let's do it right this time. We're going to do the mean and we're estimating. So I'm going to put approximately, you don't have to do this. That's 1130 divided by 40. That is 28.25. Now, if you look, that's much more reasonable. Um, people took between 0 and 50 minutes to get to work. So 28.25 sounds reasonable. So I'm going to put 28.25 as my answer. Here's a question for you to try. This is talking about uh, people's wages. So we're dealing with slightly bigger numbers, but it's the same process. If you pause the video, you can unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's a solution to this question. So this one, we have to be very careful with our midpoints because this went up from 10,000 to 14,000 and then it started making jumps of only 2,000 and then at the very end it was 20,000 to 40,000 so just check your midpoints don't just assume that it's going up in the same amount every time then we're multiplying these together um, and figuring out the total of those this time it was 1 million and 190,000 so my mean is that number divided by 80, not 5, because there are 80 people in the factory. And the answer I get is 14,875. And if we look, that does sound reasonable because the people at the factory got paid anywhere between £10,000 and £40,000. And you might think, oh, well, I expect it sort of be in the middle of those. Well, not necessarily, because if you actually look at the numbers, most of the numbers are higher up these smaller values. Not many people got paid these larger sums. So that does sound like a reasonable answer. Thank you for watching.